like we have here a Permobil F5 VS for vertical standing. So this chair is the one that has the, the vertical standing. So this chair has seven electrical function. It has 27 miles. It's literally brand new. It's the latest model, the latest uh, shroud on the chair. The color is kind of orangey looking. 27 miles. This is a Permobil F5 standing. It has seven electrical function. It has the 14 inch seat lift, the electric tilt, the electric recline, the electric feet to go up and down, in and out, and you also have the standing position and you have the vertical pushing forward, the anterior tilt also. So folks, there's nothing more they can put on a power chair. This is the most expensive power chair there is out there. Again, it's the F5 VS. The first thing we're gonna show you, of course, is the standing feature. That's what most people want to see with this chair. So when you stand someone up, the first two things you have to do, the first thing is to put the chest guard on, on the chair, to keep the person in the chair. And the second thing you have to do is put the knee brace on. And this knee brace is adjustable by turning this right here so you can adjust in and out the knee brace. When you put the knee brace into the foot, into the foot plate, make sure the legs are completely inside. They're completely all the way in. If the legs are out, you're not gonna be able to get past the cushion. So the easiest way to put this is when the legs are all the way retracted, then it'll slide in here just like that, okay? So once you have the knee brace on <clears throat> and the chest guard, you can use the joystick or you can use a switch box. I'm gonna use the switch box, it's a little quicker for me. So the first button, if I hold it down, you can see the seat starting to do its thing, starting going up. And you also see these wheels right here in front. They'll go down in a minute here. When the seat gets halfway up, you'll see the wheels starting to go down. There goes your wheels. Your, that's to give you more stability when you're doing the standing feature. <clears throat> and as you can see, the standing feature is going up. And the nice thing about this is once you're standing up like this, you can still drive this chair. So I'll show you in a second here. So we're almost all the way up. <clears throat> there we go. So this is as far as it'll go. It won't stand you up like this. It always keeps you on an angle. That's the standing feature. And as you can see, the chair still dries with the standing feature. So I'm gonna turn the chair around so you can see the front of the chair. So this is what it would look like in the front. And this would be the back of the chair. So you can see how clean this chair is. It only has 27 miles, so it's literally brand new. So this is, folks, your standing position. So while we have this chair standing, let's look at the base on this chair while we're at it. So you can see these are, this is a front wheel drive. What that means, the drive wheel's not in the middle, it's in the front. There's nothing in front. Well, now the wheels are down, but once you put the seat up, the wheels will be up. But there'll be nothing on the ground in front of your chair. Gives you good traction for outside. This chair, folks, weighs about 450 pounds, so it's a heavy chair. So if you have a 200-pound user and a 450 weight chair, that's 650 pounds of transfer weight to the bottom of your wheel, so it gives you good traction outside, okay? You have caster wheels <clears throat> in the back right here. I'm going to turn it around so you can see it better right here. And we have suspension here and suspension over here. Look, look at the size of that suspension, and it's adjustable by turning this ring right here. You have four of these shocks around this chair. So with the weight of the chair and the suspension, this is why this chair gives you such a good ride. It's an incredible soft ride. You have an anchor point inside here, another one here. This is where you secure your chair if you're going to transport it. You have four anchor points on this chair, okay? You have a motor for each wheel. So there's a motor here. You can't see the motor because it's behind this fender right here, but there's the handle on it. The motor goes this way and it's hooked up directly to the wheel. No chain, no belt, it's direct drive to the wheel, okay? If I wanted to push this chair, as you can see, well, it's not going anywhere because it weighs 450 pounds, plus it's in gear. But if you turn the power off on the chair, hopefully the seat is all the way down when you do all that, but turn the power off because you want no resistance in the motor. Power is off. This is your handle right here for your neutral. Push it down and now, you can see the chair rolls freely, you're in neutral, okay? You have to do both motors on both sides. So folks, that's how you put the chair in neutral. When you're done, make sure you always put it back in gear. And then you can turn your power back on and you're back in gear. You can see the armature for the seat lift and the tilt and everything is here. You can see how clean that chair is. So we're gonna bring the seat back down 
So, <clears throat> so while the seat's going down, this is called a swing away joystick. So you can swing the joystick away from the front. So if you want to get closer to a dining table without damaging your joystick, that is nice. So if you're left-handed, we can put the joystick on the left side with no problem. So the seat will go all the way back down. So if you need a chair to help you stand up, uh, this is the only one that I know. And it's, this is a permobile, the highest quality you can get. So now we have the seat all the way back down again. So now we don't need the chest guard and we do not need the knee brace. We'll take these off. We'll keep those over here. Now the next thing I'm going to show is called the seat lift. There's a four, this chair is one of the few chairs that has a 14 inch seat lift. Most power chairs have 10 and 12. This is, has 14. So we're going to go up with the seat. So you can see when you start, you'll be about 22 inches from the ground when you start. So if you add your, your 14 inches, you will be at 36 inches by the time you're all the way up. You'll be definitely be eye level with people. The nice thing about this is you go to the movie theater or you want to walk with someone and you'll be, you'll be walking with them eye level. And you can also drive this chair once the seat is all the way up. So you can see right here, it still drives with the seat elevated, okay? So folks, this is called the seat lift. Now I'm going to bring the seat down, halfway down. So if you're not using the standing feature, <clears throat> I'm going to show you something else that's real neat about this chair, okay? Let's just say you have trouble getting out of your chair. I'm going to flip, flip, <laughs> flip the foot plates up. Remember I told you it had the interior tilt. What that means is the back goes up forward. So let's do the interior tilt and you will see, you will see how it's tilting up to the front. So if you had someone who had trouble getting out of their chair, folks, you're pretty much out of the chair already. But just leave the seat elevated, tilt it forward. You can just about walk right out. So that's your interior tilt. So we're going to bring the interior tilt back down. So you can see going back to my hand again. There we go. I'm going to put the foot plates back down. So that's the interior tilt. Let's bring the seat all the way back down. Then we're going to cover some other features of this chair. So we've done so far the standing, the seat lift, the interior tilt. Now we're going to do the electric tilt. <clears throat> So now we're going to tilt the seat back, okay? So the interior tilt is when the base right here goes back. So when the base right here goes back, it's going to take the legs and the back as they're all connected together. This is good if you want to relieve pressure off your bottom, pressure off your back. You just want to relax. You want to have some circulation in your leg. It has a lot of medical benefits. So this is as far as it'll tilt. The next thing I'm going to show are the feet, okay? So let's just say you want to raise your feet up and you want to be tilted and you want your feet way up in the air, I'm just going to show you um, the extreme position. Now folks, remember, if you're five feet tall, six foot two, 100 pounds, 280 pounds, it doesn't really matter. We can fit these chairs, we can change the seat size, we can do all that over here, folks. So this would be like if you really need circulation, but you don't have to be, <clears throat> you don't have to be this, this, uh, far up. So if you just were halfway tilted, if I bring it halfway down, you will see your feet are still higher than your body. Okay. So we're going to bring it all the way down. The next thing I'm going to show is called the electric recline, which is the back going back. So the electric recline is just the back going back by itself. Nothing else is moving in the chair. You can see the back going back. You can see it right there. I'm doing everything through the joystick, through the switch box right here with one finger. So we're going to see how far down this is going to go. So it's pretty much flat. So this is your electric, this is your chair laying completely flat. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring the electric recline back up and I'm going to bring the legs back down. I'm, I'm doing two buttons at once. You can also do that through the joystick. I'm just doing it to save time here because we have a lot of uh, good stuff to go over. So as you can see, the legs go out also. We just did the legs. We just did the recline, the seat lift, the tilt, the standing position, the interior tilt. 
The next feature I'm going to show you, the feet also go up and down this way. They went out a second ago, but now they can go up and down. So if you want the feet to go up and down, you have to go to your joystick because there's not enough buttons here and push the joystick forward, the, the, the knob forward until you see a picture of your seat on the screen. So I'm going to keep pushing forward and now I see a picture of the seat. Now to change the color on the seating of the seat, you just move sideways with your joystick. So what I want right now, I want the two feet to be yellow, the two foot plate and then the yellow arrow going up and down, not sideways, but up and down. So I'm going to keep doing sideways until I see only the feet yellow and with the arrow up, up and down. So now the feet are yellow and there's an arrow up and down. So now I use my joystick. Watch. If I go back, you see the foot plate going down. And if I go forward, the foot plates go up. That's your seventh, that's your seventh electrical function, folks. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the feet in a little bit now. There we go. So folks, that's seven electrical function. We're going to put it back in drive and we're going to start looking at the chair. So it is a front wheel drive, so it turns. So if you have it in your house, this is what it looks like when it turns. So let me show you real quick right here. This is your turning radius in your house. Okay. The seat on this chair, folks, right now it's set up for a large person. It's 21 by 21. So it's a large seat right now. But as I said, we can make it all the way down to 16 inches if we have to. The arms flip up. You also have lateral knee pad. What these do, these, these lateral pads keep your knees together, keeps your feet on the foot plate. These lateral knee pads can be removed. It can be moved up and down this shaft right here. They can go in, out, this way, this way. Fully adjustable. There's all kinds of adjustments on here. These are great to keep your foot plate on the, uh, your feet on the foot plate. You have a safety belt, of course. You have a USB port right here. So if you want to charge your phone, there's a USB port here. Um, you also have headlights from the factory. These are headlights and tail lights on this chair. So you also have hazards. You have left flashers, right flashers. So you have fully, fully equipped with headlights. On the back of the chair, you have a fully adjustable headrest. As you can see, I'm going to put it this way. All the adjustments are here. You can go any position you want with the headrest. I'm going to tighten it back up. When you get this chair, there's a, there's a, re, there's a uh, circuit breaker where my finger is. So if you can see where my fingers are at, right there, it's, it's, it's right in here. Oh, there we go. So that's how, and I just turned it back on. And when you turn it back on, you have to go back to the front and turn the power back on. And we're going to turn the lights back on again so you can see. Okay, so this is where your breaker is right here. When you get your chair, you need to turn the power on over here. Okay, so if you're left-handed, as I said earlier, we can switch the joystick to the left side with no problem. The arms do flip up. So when you charge this chair, you will take your charger. I'm going to use this charger here. This is probably not the charger for this chair, but we'll use this for an example. Like always, you just plug it right below the joystick. And as soon as the light goes to full, the charger will stop charging. These are smart chargers. They know when to stop charging. So let's recap. <clears throat> let's turn the lights off. All right. So we have here Permobil F5. This is the vertical standing with 27 miles, literally brand new. We use about a month. It has the four, it has the standing feature. The 14 inch seat lift, the electric tilt, the electric recline, the electric feet, the interior tilt, the feet that go up and down. Folks, seven electrical function, 27 miles on this chair. It has the headlights, it has the swing away joystick, the lateral knee pad. It, does, it comes with the knee, the knee pad over there, the chest guard. It has the adjustable headrest, it has the light from the factory. This is top of the line. This is the latest in technology, the latest model from Permobil. F5 VS ready to go. All right, folks, 7.2, 7.3 miles an hour top speed on this power chair. This is the Permobil F5 VS vertical standing. Brilliant. Really 
Really nice power chair. So this chair will have no problem with the grass. As long as your grass is not, you know, too deep, should have no problem with any, any yard with this power chair. So I'm going to raise the seat up so you can see the elevation. So if you're going to drive this chair with the seat elevated, folks, do yourself a favor. Drive it where it's really nice and flat, okay? Especially if you're going to drive it with the seat elevated. Just with the seat elevated. And I'm going to show you the, how well it drives. So remember, this one has seven electrical functions. The seat lift, the tilt, the recline, the interior tilt, the legs that go in and out, up and down, the interior tilt, the 14-inch seat lift. It has the high-speed motors, the standing feature. So now we're standing up with the seat elevated. And you can see it drives about three miles an hour with the seat elevated. So folks, if you're looking for a really, really nice power chair, top of the line in power chairs. This is the most expensive chair you can get. This is the latest model. This is the Permobil F5 VS for vertical standing, ready to go. Hi, I'm Mark. And my name is Alex. We're co-owners of Mark's Mobility. I started this company in 1995. We sell many products, not just what you see in this video. If you have any questions or concerns, please call us at the number below at 800-677-6200. Nine three. Thank you and have a wonderful day.